Hi guys, welcome to Let's Get to the Marks. Uh, looking at a chemistry A level here, the ideal gas equation. Uh, you'll find this in the topic called amount of substance. Uh, let's get into it. So this is question 3.4 of the 2022 A level AQA paper one. Okay, let's go. Hydrogen peroxide decomposes to form water and oxygen. Give an equation for this reaction. Right, cool. That's turning a word equation into a reaction. We'll get on with that in a second. Calculate the amount in moles of hydrogen peroxide that would be needed to produce 185 centimeter cubes of oxygen gas at 100 kilopascals and 298 Kelvin. The gas constant is 8.31. As soon as you see that 8.31, uh, R is 8.31, you see the volume of gas, you know you're doing the ideal gas equation here. It's really useful to highlight parts of the question. Uh, so I recommend in exams always using a highlighter so you don't miss any other numbers or the key parts. All right, let's write out this uh, balanced equation. H2O2, that's the formula for hydrogen peroxide, and it forms water and oxygen, we're told here in the question. And we need to quickly balance this up. So our coefficients, two of these, and this is nicely balanced. That's going to get us one mark out of the five marks. The other four marks are for the ideal gas equation. Now, I would say this is a medium difficulty ideal gas equation. So I'll do other harder ones later. Now, the equation is PV equals NRT. We want them out in moles, highlighted here. And the symbol for moles is little n. So we want to divide PV by RT to isolate n and make that the subject of our equation here. PV over RT equals N. So we want to find the number of moles of hydrogen peroxide eventually. Um, now, in order to find the number of moles of oxygen, which is the information we've been given, the 185 oxygen, uh, we need to look at pressure times volume. Now, you must do conversions. In these ideal gas equations, you'll have at least two conversions. So 100 kPa is 100,000 pascals. And to convert 185 centimeters cubed into meters cubed, we need to divide by a million, one times 10 to the six. Why? Because a meter cube is 100 centimeters wide, 100 deep, and 100 high. So 100 times 100 times 100. That's a million for those of you that struggle with that. Okay, so let's rewrite that. 100,000 pascals is the pressure times 1.85 times 10 to the minus 4 meters cubed. We've converted our centimeters into meters cubed. Okay, real simple. The ideal gas equation, equation <laughs> constant, sorry, the gas constant will always be 8.31. Now, the temperature is 298K. Sometimes they'll give that to you in degrees Celsius. So they'll say like 25 degrees Celsius. Remember, you add 273 to turn into Kelvin. You must use Kelvin in the ideal gas equation. Uh, normally, there's at least two of these to convert. So always check your conversions. As soon as I'm doing this ideal gas equation, I want to check the conversions. Right, now that equals 7.47 .47 times 10. Lovely jubbly to the minus three. And that's moles. Moles of what? Well, that's moles of oxygen because they gave us, look, I'm circling here, they gave us the volume of oxygen. So we've worked out the moles of oxygen with this ideal gas equation. Now, if we go back to the equation we wrote out in the first step, what's the ratio of hydrogen peroxide to oxygen? Because the question actually wants moles of hydrogen peroxide. You can see the ratio is one mole of oxygen to two moles of hydrogen peroxide. It's one to two. Um, so we need to double these moles of oxygen in order to find out the moles of hydrogen peroxide. So they wouldn't have asked us to write a balanced equation for nothing. So you see here, we need to times the moles of oxygen by two, and that gives us the moles of hydrogen peroxide. And that's our final answer. And if we get this correct, we'll pick up five lovely marks. And this is an A level, not an AS question, but you get these questions in AS as well if you're studying AS. So the answer is 0 0.0149 moles of hydrogen peroxide. Make sure you like, subscribe, comment, share. Yeah, subscribe to the channel and hit the like. It really helps me make more of these videos. So uh, let's take a look at the mark scheme just so you can check all your answers off. I've put here where you get the marks, but you can check it out on the mark scheme. And um, yeah, check out some of my other videos where I cover other important topics. That's it. I'm out.